May the 11th, 1985. As fire tore through Bradford City's soccer stadium, hundreds of fans were trapped at the back of the stand and choked by thick, poisonous smoke. From that first flame to the entire stand being on fire top to bottom took a fraction over four minutes. 56 people died. Immediately afterwards, investigators began to search for the causes of the disaster. They had two big questions. Why had so many people failed to escape the burning stand? But first of all, how had the fire taken hold so quickly? One factor was obvious. The 80-year-old stand was built mostly from wood. Forensic analysis showed a cigarette or match had fallen through a gap in the floorboards. In the space underneath, litter had been allowed to build up. Old newspapers and food wrappers were easy to ignite, and the fire could build invisibly before anyone knew of its existence. In the immediate aftermath of the Bradford fire, wooden stands across the UK were condemned and demolished. Nearly half the clubs in the English Football League had to close some of their stadiums. And since Bradford, any new stadium has to make sure every single material is fireproof or protected. Jay Parrish, one of the designers of the new Valencia Arena, has been creating stadiums for over 30 years. What went wrong at Bradford has shaped everything he's built since. If ever any disaster happens, then we need to learn from it. We've got to find out why did it happen, and more importantly, what do we have to do for the stadiums we're designing now to make sure that we don't make the same mistake? Building a stadium from wood is one mistake that, of course, won't be repeated in the 21st century. At the new Valencia Stadium, like all other modern examples, the key building material is the most fireproof known to man, reinforced concrete. But to give this design iconic appeal, the team wants to clad the whole exterior in steel. And that creates a challenge because steel melts when it reaches a high enough temperature. So the project's fire engineer has to find a way of stopping the metal collapsing if fire breaks out. There are a lot of different methods you can use to protect steel. One of the methods is boarding it up with a fire-resistant boarding. That's cheap and ugly and it doesn't go with the image of the stadium. So what we've opted for here is an intermittent paint, which to the public, you wouldn't know that it's protected. A simple demonstration shows what this amazing flame retardant technology can do. On the right-hand side is untreated wood. In the middle, it's been painted with normal paint, which burns even faster than bare wood. But on the left-hand panel, the intumescent paint behaves differently. It expands into a layer of charcoal. Less than a millimetre's layer of paint swells to 20 times its thickness. This stops heat being conducted and stops oxygen feeding the flames. After six minutes, both the other samples are burned through and the conventional paint is releasing toxic fumes. After 45 minutes, it's total destruction for the untreated material. But the intumescent paint not only keeps the wood from burning, it's still cool enough to touch on the back. Valencia's steelwork will be protected by intumescent paint for up to two hours at its most vulnerable points. <laughs>